Okay, so random sampling. Um, outline and assess the view. The random sampling methods are useful for studying social class inequality. 25 marks, OCR exam, unit G674. First thing we're going to do is define keywords. Random sampling is where everyone in the target population has an equal chance of being selected. Is that what you said? Yes? Is that what you said? Yeah? Okay, everyone in the target population has an a equal chance of being selected into the sample. So I'm just going to look at what we've done so far. So in this essay, we're going to define random sampling. We're going to mention that positivists would support the use of random sampling. This would include functionalists like Durkheim. That interpretivists and feminists and realists may be critical of this type of sampling method in different ways. Methodologies like positivism and interpretivism refers to a system, a way of studying social life, which involves particular types of methods and data. And then the rest of my essay is shaped like this, and I'd like you to map out on the board where key terms will go. So I'm going to give a plan on the board now, and then there's going to be an activity next. So we're going to say firstly, number one, Sampling methods are seen as more objective. I'm going to make reference to objective class measures, which shows my understanding that the measures of class can be objective. And later I'll be talking about how class measures can also be subjective. And in measuring class using different sampling methods and different research methods, we're going to talk about the, the measure of social class inequality, which we haven't defined yet, but we can do that in the process of this essay. So I'm going to talk about income and wealth being part of the objective measures of class. So this is a bit of reinforcement as well for the inequality questions as well, on social class. We can talk about an agreed scale, where everyone's income and wealth can be compared. Does anyone know what would be an example of an agreed scale, where everyone's income is compared based on their occupation and income? And it's in the book, and it's a way the government measures your class. Yeah, that one. NSSEC. -E That's right. So, Shehenna nearly, Hannah completely. Well, almost completely, but yes, you've got the acronym, so that's fine. You don't. National Statistical Socioeconomic Classification Index. And there are different types of random sampling we could then talk about. Does anyone know what the different types of random sampling are? So in summary, we've said so far, objective class measures can be linked to income and wealth based on an agreed scale like the National Statistical Socioeconomic Classification Index. Sampling that is more random, systematic or stratified random sampling could be seen as more objective by positivists. And the next part of the video, we're going to talk about how that is in relation to Perv G concepts. Subjective class measures based on self defined beliefs about your class, what you think your class is, based on questioning. Um, these involve or can be supported by non random sampling types snowball, quota, purposive types of sampling. And these are linked more with interpretivism, whereas the objective measures are linked with positivism. In the next part.